forward and go. Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wookie, and I'm back with some more Master Duel. I'm also here with Zen. Hello. Hello, and we're here, I'm, I, because I haven't done a video on it, I'm going to do some synchro, some synchro eventing. You want to see my six synchro festival deck, Zen? I should actually share my screen with you. How about that? You should. <laughs> I should do that. And if people like this, they should remember to leave a like and do comments and that. All that good stuff. Let's go. Okay, can you see it now? Yes. All right. Here, check out my six synchro deck. I think it's really... <laughs> it's really Hell something. yeah. Uh, check out my six synchro ancient warrior virtuously Lee Young. I should probably, if I had a third copy of fucking Rebellion Lu Fang, I would put him over Nibiru, because Nibiru has not helped me. Actually, do I have another copy of this kaiju? I do not. Damn it. Uh, otherwise, I would totally do that over Nibiru, because fucking Emancipators run that one fucking rock card that can stop Nibiru. <laughs> anyway, so Oh yeah, go. the Kawaki Meru Guardian. Yeah, really annoying. So we'll get into it because chances are the opponent will take like 27 minutes to actually synchro. Let's get Correct. actual thoughts about this festival because I think I'm with you, uh, as you said, that in theory, I think I like the idea of a synchro festival. In actuality, I don't think that they did a very good job with this one. <laughs> um, with some main problems being, I think they were too lenient on the ban list. I think they should have gone way harder on a lot of decks. Oh my god, this Yes. Man. They they basically just let every like OP synchro deck do whatever it wants. Wait, what the fuck? I just realized I'm not running against a synchro deck. <laughs> Did you just go in the normal version? <laughs> uh, no, I fought a dark magician deck. They don't synchro. <laughs> And they just surrendered immediately. He surrendered to me. I didn't see his deck. I just like, oh yeah, you could totally run Dark Magician. Did he brick? What happened? Let's see, the field spell. Where's the field spell? Fucking where, where is it? Here it is. When this card is uh, activated, you can set one eternal soul uh, directly from your deck. That means he had both in his hand because he wasn't able to set it. You can target one of those monsters. Oh, you know what he must have saw? He must have saw that I wasn't running an extra deck and thought I was running true Draco. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so he didn't do it. Because otherwise, this would have actually been a pretty tough duel. Because I don't think I have much back row destruction for Eternal Soul. Though, funny enough, without the fusion, the XYZ monster, this deck's a little bit more easy to deal with. Hmm. Fun, though. I think the most fun I've had in the Synchro Dean game is actually fighting against fellow decks who are going anti-Synchro. I feel like this is the first time... Yeah, it's uh, it's a little funnier, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, I think this is the first event where I feel like... Because occasionally in other events, like for the... Um, uh, the uh, N slash R and the other events that we've had where it was like XYZ monsters, I feel like people were using True Dracos and stuff, but it wasn't as bad. I feel like in this one, people are definitely more actually, like, running anti-synchro. It feels like an actual, well, okay. like... Part of that is, and I think you probably will agree with me, synchro summoning sucks. Yes. It's, it takes 45 minutes to do. Because unlike link summoning, where it's like, just have fucking monsters on the board. It's like, to run a synchro combo, it's constant deck cycling constant extra special summons constant like spell combo triggers and all this shit and it's like well he's, he's about to go because i'm not going to be able to stop this because i actually didn't draw one of the good uh <laughs> cards i needed otherwise this guy would have been boned <laughs> but it's fine i'm probably going to lose this one but this will help sell our point here is that synchros are just take forever and it's it's kind of like link climbing, but if link climbing had more steps, like I feel like the game has finally advanced past it, synchros. Yeah, it, it's 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 one hundred percent just link climbing, except it, it fucking sucks because you have to use a million other cards every time you want to summon one. Yeah, and it also makes turns just last forever. And the thing we were mentioning before I got distracted by that dark magician is that it feels like they left virtual world and ad emancipators untouched. So. Yep. If you're running those decks, you just win. There's like, there's almost yep. like no way. I've al I've already made my peace with the fact that there's no way for me to be able to beat um, Virtual World 
because, first of all, their regular... It's basically just their deck without any of the uh, Link monsters or uh, XYZ monsters. It's the same deck. It's the same big boss monster that they always have. Except for now they run like a bu bunch more negates because they can synchro into them. So I feel like if they had gone a little bit harder on them... Like, they're harder on True Draco. For all, <laughs> for some reason, they really don't want people ready True Draco, but they refuse to outright ban True Draco. Like they've limited. I, I um, wonder if people were complaining that True Draco was too, like, dominant in the last one. Maybe, but in that one it was more fair because it was N slash R. So it was just like in this one, like, because uh, some of the best uh, True Draco cards are SRs and stuff like that. So I don't really feel like. You'd think they would be less of a problem, but they still hit them more. It's really weird. Like, they limited the amount of monsters they can have in their deck, and that makes the deck slightly less consistent. You can still run them and win. Pretty easily, I, I should add. Uh, but it feels like they're actively hurting them instead of actually trying to go for the big decks. Like this one, for example. And also, here's the other thing. UR costs. I'm not spending UR gems on these synchro monsters. I'm just not. And you need no, an enti no, entire not a chance. Extra, I need you need an entire extra deck worth of them. Like this guy deserves to win simply because he probably crafted a lot of these cards, like Junk Speeder, Stardust Dragon, Shooting Star Dragon, whatever. At this point, give him the fucking win because his his deck cost way more than mine did, <laughs> which is mostly just ours. And uh, to be fair, there's some uh, URs, but a lot of them are just like staple URs. Well, except for Lubu, but I'm not running the stack without Lubu. I think this guy is Yeah, a, absolutely not. R. Yeah, okay, he's R. So yeah, I, I really do... I think it's more of a case of... Uh, they kind of fucked up on the Synchro end, because I really feel like they should have hurt the big Synchro decks. Because here's the other problem is, is that... Unlike XYZ monsters uh, and Link monsters... The later game synchro monsters are just so much better than all the old ones that you can't really actually have like a lot of fun with them because every synchro deck is different monsters except for this guy. This guy's actually running majestic, so good props on him. He's gonna deserve this win that he's about to get from me from completely ass missing me with a shooting majestic star dragon. Um. But this is also a problem I've had with synchro decks in general, is that most synchro decks are 13 of the same synchro, two synchro specific archetype <laughs> monsters, and the rest of them uh -huh. are the exact same monster, the exact same, because uh, I guess this was also true when synchros first released, that was the good thing about a lot, the best, the best versions of them are cards like this, where it's just like one tuner and one non-tuner monster, and you just play them. But it ends up making it so that um, a lot of the worst synchro monsters are the ones like Shooting Star Majestic Dragon, who specifically say you need a Majestic Dragon plus one non tuna monster. Like, the more specific a synchro card is, the worse it is. And I don't feel like um, XYZ monsters and Link monsters really suffer from that all that much. For whatever reason. Um, I also feel like a lot of those other decks also kind of rely... Like, for example, XYZ decks... Like, the big XYZ deck, I feel like everyone thought was going to be number one was going to be, uh... Was it going to be Zodiacs? But it ended up being, I feel like, a lot more even-keeled on what was number one for the XYZ festival. Even though it was so long ago. That was so long ago from when we started. Um, this guy's still not done! I feel like he has game, but he won't kill me! Yeah, I... That's the thing, too. It, that's the problem with, like, online Yu-Gi-Oh! Sims. Is that if you people will have game and then they'll play for another seventeen minutes? Yeah, and to be fair, for some point this guy needs to get the missions. I understand, but I'm am de dead. We we can both move on from this. Thank you. <laughs> I feel like you finally understood my way of seeing it. Yes, of course. Let me draw my card. Let me draw my card. You can't stop this. There's no way in hell that you're going to negate this and remove this guy from the field. Oh no, he just negated. It's fine. Yeah, I didn't. The uh, the ancient warriors are fun, but I actually kind of bricked pretty badly because I drew two. I basically drew three cards that were the exact same because it was oh. uh, virtuous Lu Zhang, it was uh, Zong Kong, and then two of the fire formation Tensei Tensu, which is just not good enough. How did he not kill me? Excuse me, sir. 
how did he get arrive in light and excel synchron and not make majestic shooting star dragon? I mean, he or did. shooting majestic star dragon or whatever. Shooting star dragon. Hey, I guess he did, but he had to put it into domain. No, not shooting star dragon. The the other one. The this one. The eleven. The eleven. That one. Yeah, he did. Where he the did. fuck he... was he? I don't know. This is hilarious. <laughs> uh, let's see if I can make him uh, use his negate. Oh no, I can't. He has oh, two. Man. He has two negates. Let's see. If I use this. Majestic is a uh, omni negate, and then Stardust Dragon is a destruction negate. Also, even if he uses his negates, it doesn't matter because they banish themselves and come back, so you can't regeki them. Boo. Uh, you send one card from your field. Yeah, oh, easy. Are you kidding me? I'm about to summon my boy Lubu. And if I can do anything, let me summon Lubu. Don't be a bad. Pretty sure he's gonna negate with Majestic. I'll show him. I don't know why you wouldn't. How dare you oh, affect me, Lubu? You bastard, you give me nothing. <laughs> Alright, fine. You give me no joy, I'm gonna use Regeki anyway. I don't know if there's a <laughs> mission to stop it, but I at least. Know. Yeah, now you're gonna use him, no hesitation on that one. Fine, whatever. I get a mission for destroying your cards regardless, so. Eat shit. And destroy me. So yeah, I feel like this one is kind of... I think it's literally the time limit is actually probably the biggest factor here. Is that it just feels like sometimes it just takes too long to do anything. Like this game specifically has gone on for 11 minutes and I've played for like what? A combined total of two minutes? Not even. Like I summoned him, I summoned the other guy, I got my Rigeki negated and now I'm here to lose. And now this guy's probably... Oh no, he's, he's gonna do the honorable thing and just kill me. Right. Well, that's nice. He's at least not going to make you wait for 20 minutes. Come on. 4,000. I can't believe you ha you don't have game. You're just going to slowly do this? If I draw the right monster, I'm just going to smack into him for game. Let me see. Come on, Lubu. Actually, no, I can't summon Lubu. Lubu actually requires you to have a strong monster on your field. You have to control yeah, the strongest Yeah, otherwise he'll team. betray you. <laughs> I mean, he'll betray me regardless, but to summon him, uh, this would, where the fuck were you? If I had started with this guy, uh, this entire game would have started completely different. I'm going to set it to make him feel like I have something, but I have nothing. <clears throat> so yeah, Synchro Festival, probably not the greatest in the world. I have been enjoying Ancient Warriors. This is a bad showing of them, but I drew badly, so <laughs> nothing I can do on that front. Uh, let me see if I can break it. Actually, you know what? I beat that first guy. Fuck that. That guy was afraid. He could feel the thunder in my hands, and he put up defeat regardless. So yeah, let me see that 12-minute game. I got. They need to fix this, by the way. I should not have to spend like 13 minutes on a duel. Give me a hundred points, and then get no rewards, because otherwise I should just forfeit. Because the only reason, the only reason I didn't forfeit is that if you actually forfeit, um, you don't get any mission progress on your missions. You actually lose progress <laughs> if you do that. Oh, uh, yeah, you have to lose the right way. Yeah, you have to lose honorably, yeah. I guess. They don't like you subbing, or uh, what is it called? Uh, uh, scooping. Scooping, yeah. I don't understand why not. There's nothing wrong with it. If you really do feel like you're going to lose, but their chances are there's going to be people who will just exploit it. Well, I think it's also because if your opponent scoops, it stops you from being able to fill your own missions. Because, like, uh, that yeah. takes away an opportunity to attack and do damage, for example. That's true. So close Something you know with... very well. Yeah, <laughs> something I do know very well. All right, let me see. Uh, let's go for one more. But yeah, I feel like this probably cares more. I, mean, I would actually be hearing of someone who's really into synchros and are really into just this event. Because I feel like the people who were most into it were like the, the metas that had super heavy um, samurai. No, super heavy like feel into synchros. But I feel like their decks got completely ass blasted because virtual world and... Um, and Emancipators exist, and they were untouched. Like, for example, Blackwing. I saw some people who were excited for Blackwing and uh, saying, like, oh, none of the Blackwing cards are on the ban list. This is their time. And I fought one Blackwing deck, and they were just completely destroyed. Uh -huh. Just, like, nothing <laughs> yep. nothing left to them. It was very sad, actually. Uh, which one of these do I get? Let me see. You control another Ancient Warrior. You can send one card from your hand. This is the one I want. 
And uh, here's the tricky part. It's actually having him and him on the field at the same time. Because if you have both of them on the same time, you get his effect that can neg negate monster summons. But if you don't, then you can't do it. Uh, but I don't think... Yeah, the only way to use his other effect is your opponent has to have a monster. So, so then I get to play this guy. Then I go like, hey, I want to get rid of my guy. Send a card from the graveyard. Goodbye, the guy in my hand. I don't need you. And then I can say, get this guy in my hand. And because of his effect, I can just special summon him now. Easy. And I'm going to activate this, just so I have a negate on the board. So this guy has a negate as long as I have a specific Ancient Warriors continuous spell or trap card. And if this spell and trap card leaves the field, then I get to summon another one. So, decent field. Decent start. Um, if he summons a big monster, I'm fucked. Or if he kaijus me, I'm fucked. But let's see how it goes. And the nice thing is, is that his hiv is if his effect activates, this effect activates, and I can send one monster back to the hand. So, pretty cool. I like the ancient warriors. I think they're pretty sick. Think yeah, I, I was trying thing. to make one of them, and then I was like, I gotta stop building like a million decks I'm never gonna play. <laughs> yeah. I think they actually excel in this kind of format where there's less, <laughs> there's less like Xyz monsters and other big monsters to really worry about. Ooh, Speedroid. Melissa, Malicious Magnet? What are you doing? Huh? Using, oh, you're gonna special summon with my card, aren't you? You bastard. He must have realized this is the big worry card. Well. This is why I really needed him on the field as well, but... <sighs> At least that's what I think he's doing, right? During a man's discard, no one's going to target one of the Immediately after the fight, synchro, one wind synchro monster. Yeah, that's a... it's a fucker of a move he just did on me. You this card, increase the level of all monsters on the field by one. Hmm... I think I lose this one again, Zen. <laughs> Uh, this... Yeah, it's not looking great. No, not looking great. Uh, I needed him to stop spell and trap cards, but now that I look at him, it looks like he's just going to be doing his thing. I should probably start going second with this deck, but if I don't have a kaiju in my hand, I don't feel comfortable going second. But as long as he doesn't summon a negate, I can just regeki his face. I mean, I'm going to assume every single synchro deck is running Stardust Dragon, because why wouldn't you run Stardust Dragon? Because it's an 8-star, uses any material, and you just kind of go. Funny enough, I kind of feel like the same way some Synchro cards kind of feel like Link cards. Like, there's certain Link cards that you just put in there because they're good for Link climbing. Like, uh, Nightmare Phoenix, the night basically all the Nightmare cards, the Link Spider, um, the fuck is the name? Link Karibo. That's the name of the little Karibo, right? Link Karibo? Oh, ah! uh, yeah, Link Karibo. <laughs> what? I like how I complained about the other deck, and then they're actually giving me someone who... See, I can respect losing to this, because this guy's running Speedroid. This is the kind of deck you want to lose to in this game. Where it's actually a deck that you never see in the main ladder. Like, I have no problems losing to this at all. Though it's still going to take a very long time, which is the actual other problem I have, but <laughs> that's neither here nor there. Uh, you can act one of these effects. Negate all effects on your opponent's field. Hmm. What are you gonna summon? What's your big boy this time? Crystal Wing? Oh, that guy. Every single deck I've seen uses him. Yeah! <laughs> no matter who it is. Almost as if all synchro decks are the same deck. Yeah, pretty much. It's, it's, uh, it's like they, what they say about Italian cooking. All Italian. No, it's not Italian. It's a uh, Mexican. All the, all the food on Taco Bell on the menu, let me just say there, is basically it's the, the same, same thing. In a it's different same... combination. Yeah. Oof. It's funny, too, because you'd think that would be like Link decks, right? Like, you'd think Link decks would be generic as shit. Because yeah. you'd have, like, and to some extent they are. Because you have, like, yeah. Appaloosa. You have Axis Code Talker. But it really feels like every synchro deck is an extra deck of 12 to 13 of the same shit, and then like your your meta like your archetype boss monster. Yeah. <laughs> Super annoying. Uh, I can't use his effect, so bye. 
that's still pretty satisfying at least. Though I feel like because it didn't end his turn, it means that there's something else that he can do. Ah, oh, damn it! I really hoped he was gonna put it on the field, because then I could use his effect. Um, hmm. You control. Don't control any. Let's rock. Dealing a hardcore 1,400 points of damage here. Hell yeah. Yeah. Really kind of destroyed absolutely everything I was going there. But that's fine. Uh, the one... Um, <laughs> it's only fair, right? It's only fair that he does the exact same thing back to me. Uh... But yeah, that's the Synchro Festival. If you have anything that's like the opposite view, I'd be actually very interested to hear what you, you'd have to say about it. I'm sure. Yeah, I would love to there. see some comments on this that are like, actually, the Synchro Festival fucking slams. This is the best festival that they have ever had. Because I feel like this. Um, maybe it's just because I've only it's only me and me and you, <laughs> the two people I know that really play Master Duel, where it's like specifically the events. My only like, problem with it is that like. It's not even that different from the regular ladder. Yeah, it's, it's really not. Uh, it's kind of a shame, actually. I feel like they should go a little bit harder on the ban list on these. I feel like, again, I really do think that they were harder on the uh, Xyz monsters than they were on the Synchro I think monsters. that they were, too. Again, that, that might have just been, this is the first festival, so I'm talking out my ass because I don't remember it anymore kind of thing. Uh -huh. But I really do feel like they were way tougher on the Xyz ban lists than they were on the Synchro ones, where the Synchro ones, like, do whatever the fuck you want. Yeah, and I feel like also some of that is coming, like, oh, hey, cool, he summoned him again. I feel a lot of it was, um, they banned, um, Eldritch, and everyone was like, build your Eldritch deck now, because he's going to be the only thing you run in X Xyz format, because he summons the big Xyz monster. And you can yeah, the, the cannon thing. Yeah, the cannon, and it's, like, so easy to just run him. And they banned him, and everyone was like, oh shit. Well, now what do we do? And I feel like they didn't do that for this deck. <laughs> like, uh, for example, I know, you couldn't even really run Drytrons because Drytrons need their Link monsters, right? Like, there's other stuff. Uh, they no, they need an Xyz monster. Okay. They need one Xyz monster, but I feel like the stuff that they usually go into, like, they need more than what was given to them. Actually, no, the fucking Ritual card was banned. See, stuff like that. <laughs> Oh, but, they, they, they banned uh, Drytron Ritual? Yeah, they banned the Ritual Monster, the ultimate Herald of... Um, Herald of Ultimateness? Yes, the Herald of Ultimateness, which helped a whole bunch and stuff. So I feel like if they had done something to Virtual World, like even given a limit, like if we can look here, I actually think it's kind of gross when you look at the event info. Forbidden. Like, look, look of the limited ones that we are going to see, because I don't think they've really banned any... Like, there's so much here that you can check, but... <clears throat> on the limited list... Like... Where is... Where are they? Look at this. Come on. Come on! Was someone really going Majesty Maiden? She was too OP. <laughs> she... <laughs> she was the trouble of the true Dracos. Dynamite, I will give you one. Even I think this yeah, is Yeah, Dynamite is, is the best one. He is the best one. I'll give you this one. But if we have to do another event and the fucking spell card guy here is on the True Deco Limited list, it's like, what? Oh, uh, the fucking Ignite guy. Yeah, Ign uh, Ign Ignis, I think is his name. Ignis, yeah. Uh, the True Draco Saber. Yeah. The Phantom. <laughs> It's funny that they at least let one Phantasm Spiral battle in case someone wanted to try with Phantasms. Uh, but yeah, there's really not much, like, oh, I, Trish, Trishula was already limited to one, right? Yeah, I think so. Pretty sure. Uh, so was Cyframe, so was Hyper Librarian. Was Genix Ally Birdman? Yes, I'm almost positive. Okay. Hippo Carnival? I don't remember if Hippo Carnival was limited to one. I feel like this is actually a response to that deck we saw in the dual TV. Where and the dual TV thing where he, like, nuked them? He nuked them with, like, 3,000 boards of hippos. They're like, listen, we don't want you to play <laughs> playing it that way. <laughs> Please don't play it that way. <laughs> Tempest Dragon Rule of the Storm. And then on the semi-limited, it's, like, the basics. Yeah, there's basically nothing here. Yeah, but, but all these cards were already here. There's, like, no specific synchro card that I can see that is limited to two on here. 
so I don't know I feel like they just need to be a little bit harder in what they were and it just wasn't hard enough other than the basics of it though it is funny to go back here and see how some of these cards are banned there's actually the best ancient warrior cards because it's used in tri <laughs> brigade the uh the link one yeah the link you are yeah which to be fair that is card very, is good this card is very yeah. good Let me see, there has to be a synchro up here that's banned. I wonder if there's a synchro up here that's banned that's already banned. It's actually kind of a pain in the ass trying to find ones that were banned specifically for the event. Because there's just so many. Uh... It's so funny to me how many cards they put in the game, but it, it banned. Like, just don't put them in. Just yeah, don't put them in. Corruption. I remember someone saying that the reason they put them in is because if they don't exist in game, then your ban list has to actually adhere to the cards that you currently have <laughs> which to be fair we're already doing that but it's kind of like this i uh, look at of like looking at him going like well let's say for sake of the my mud dragon of the swamp banned can't be used too powerful but for example um let's say let me go all the way up here because this is where we'll probably find some never mind we'll actually find the trash like big curry box who is currently banned <laughs> Uh, where's Dragoon? That's the main guy I was saying. But if Dragoon was not in the game, um, then why would you put him in the Like, it's kind of like then when you release him, that would mean he'd be unbanned, right? Because you wouldn't release a card and just have them be not banned, right? That that you can't use, yeah. Yeah. Ah, oh, they fucking banned in, in the inter interrupted Kaiju Slumber. How fucking dare you? <laughs> Probably because this card would be too good <laughs> if you could actually fully run kaijus. Uh, but yeah, I think that's basically it for this video. I just wanted to vent on something on this because I, I don't know. It feels weird. Maybe this is one of the... I'm, I'm, I'm very much one of those guys who's not super down, so I'm not a TCG player. I'm not constantly shitting on Master Duel. <laughs> but I feel for this event, there's just something that's not hitting right that I feel like needs to Yeah, it's just back. there's something about it is not it's just weird it's hitting funky yeah it's hitting a little funky which is funny because i don't feel like the same would be s true if it was all links because i feel like i think another factor isn't you know that um i just so happen to have a lot of link monsters and i have a lot of xyz monsters i don't have a lot of s i have more pendulum monsters and i have uh synchro monsters it's just really well not i think it's mostly because like Similar to Xyz, the extra deck nowadays is mostly Link monsters. Like, most meta decks play predominantly Link monsters, and then you have like a couple Xyz or a couple Synchros. Like, Ad Emancipator runs a couple Synchros. I think like Phantom Knights runs a couple Xyz. But most of the meta decks focus around Links. But the problem is that unlike the N and R festival, where you can just craft whatever you want, yeah. in this festival, if you want good cards, you got to start spending UR mats on them, which is just yeah, not gonna really Ugh. happen and here's this guy deck and his extra deck is mostly srs and the urs i don't think there's like one r with the kendama and the rest are like two clear wing synchro dragons two clear wing crystal synchro dragons another crystal clear wing synchro dragon high speed work clear wing rider and clear wing fast dragon it's just like uh, like you said i just don't want to spend the craft points and to be fair to them i guess the the loner decks at this point are actually pretty good because like you actually have two of the new synchro card in here so some people were like this actually seems okay to just use actually the only thing i would say is that's missing is ash blossom if this deck had ash blossom because it has harpy's feather duster it has foolish burial it has reinforcements it has monster reborn it has two called by the graves if anything you would probably just get rid of the trap cards and one monster and then run three ash blossoms right yeah i think so probably i mean especially in a synchro event you should always have three ash blossoms yeah exactly i've i've my opponent has one entire games because he ash blossomed me twice i was like mm -hmm. okay like, I, I can't play you can't fucking do anything about it yeah no i, I lose go ahead and summon your <laughs> three thousand attack monster i lose it's okay you got lucky and drawed into two Ash Blossoms, and I didn't draw into my Called by the Grave, so this is it. The game is over. But yeah, like, this deck has two Effect Veilers. Like, they're so close. 
to an actual deck where it's like, oh yeah, if this just had. Axe but you Blossom, still can't use them because you get way less points for winning. Yeah, you do, which really sucks. But yeah, for example, this deck this has Junk Warrior, Junk Speeder, Star, uh, Shooting Riser Dragon, Stardust Dragon, two Stardust Dragons, Shooting Star Dragon, Stardust Warrior, Shooting Star Dragon, TG, Shooting Majestic Star Dragon, Shooter Quasar Dragon, Cosmic Blazar Dragon. More stuff to work with. But yeah, like you said, they you they hurt you for using for using loader decks, so Which is so stupid. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah, I think like I know it's because they want you to, to do your own thing, but like like they want you to build cards so you have to spend money on the cards, but don't make an event and they'd be like, Oh, you can use a loner deck if you want it to take three times as much time. <laughs> like, fuck you. Yeah. I'm definitely not getting this one. I don't think I have it in me to get this many. No, dude, not a chance. I'm going to try to get the gems, and I don't even think I'm going to get all of them, but I'm going to try. I'm going to try and get all of them. And that's I need, it. I need to summon more. I might look into some more. If I'm really feeling desperate, I might look up some True Dracos and see what they got cooking. Because people are still running True Dracos. I think I was still running True Dracos. Let me see. What is the craziest turn in the map that I have here? 11 turns. 11 turns for Synchro Dueling is too many turns. Though, to be fair, I actually think that this might have been a... Yeah, this was... <laughs> this was a <laughs> Witchcrafter deck. <laughs> and this took fucking forever, because, oh my god, this bitch is hard to get off the field. Unless you have specific, like, a kaiju or something. They just basically stalled me out until they just won the game. It also doesn't... I think it also hurts that I'm in Platinum, and I can only fight Platinum, guys. That kind of sucks, too. I wish the... When does the thing reset? Let's see. Damn it. <laughs> Not close enough. Oh, well. That's the end of the video, everyone. Thanks for watching, especially if you watched all 30 minutes of it. Mm, we'll see you guys next time. Peace out. See you later.